Ahoy everyone, Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hoodin tonight along with... Prince of Might, Lieutenant Rukir, at your service. He's gonna get back to the stream here to reply to something. <laughs> and welcome to, well, the next spooky game that we'll be playing, Whispering Willows. We showcased this game long, long ago, back in the original run. Uh, original run of showcase sunday being uh, the first time we went from a to z we are now on the second run with that but oh, well we're yeah. going through we're going a to z again but skipping less games and well skipping games that we've showcased before which has meant that we've had a lot more no's and maybes but still <clears throat> yeah the problem why I had almost forgotten about it until I saw the screen and all <laughs> memories flooded back. Okay. I remember we were skeptical of it first, but once we played through it a little bit on the showcase, yeah, we were convinced this would be good uh, Halloween stream. Yeah. See, Mansion Groundskeeper goes missing. Hello, Pyrosu. You doing well? <laughs> With your hype and love uh, emotes again. Chapter 1, Wortham's War. And yep, Wortham. here we are. Ooh, Down in the dark. Time. Let's see, space to pick up. Okay, fine. Seems that there's not too much voice acting in this. Let's see, E to open inventory. Let's see, my family's heirloom. It's been passed down countless generations. Okay, a teared up shaped amulet. Now, I know I know practically nothing about this game other than the half hour or so that we gave it during the showcase, which, well, as I said, has been quite a while ago, so it's a good chance that all of this will be new. Or yeah. new again. Oh, I think I remember, you, you wanted almost to continue playing, but you yeah. got so into it. <laughs> Willow's <clears throat> Family Catacombs. What is this place? I'm so lost and mom doesn't know where I am and I'm supposed to be looking for dad. I have to find a way... It... Okay, I thought I'd turn that off. Uh, yeah, I've got Borderless Gaming to work as a non-Steam thing, so all achievements should be popping up in the correct corner, so it should automatically be just captured by the screen share. But just in case, I'll keep this over here, even if we'll have this... <laughs> even if we'll have ROM pop in uh, on accident every now and then. <clears throat> Let's see. I have to find a way out of here and keep looking for him. I know that if I can just get out of here, I'll find some sign of my dad. I won't give up. Okay. And yeah, pretty well... Ooh, looks pretty well. The, the animations are a little bit choppy, but it's a lot more forgivable with uh, smaller games like this. Human bones. Human <sighs> bones? But why? Well, that's what happens when a coffin goes out. <laughs> Oop, Chloe. Girl, hear me, girl. Your power calls me. Uh, calls to me. Elena, the amulet around your neck was crafted by the first high shaman of the Qu Quantaco tribe, my grandfather. It glows in the presence of spirits and boosts your sh uh, shaman shamanic powers. Let it be your guide. Eh? Uh, yep. We can go spooky ourselves. Flying Hawk. The spirit and body may drift from one another, but must be joined as one in the end. A fragmented life cannot be lived. I lost my body, and look at me now. But perhaps you can help me find it. I shall reside within your amulet and teach you to fend off the darkness. Okay, Flying Hawk's ghosts. And with Q... Uh, 
Uh, okay, Q does nothing. I kind of I kinda like uh, Native American names since they're, they're all very colorful. Yeah. There's a crack above that door. You need to get to the other room. Okay. <laughs> Glowing object can be possessed. Move closer and possess the lever, uh, the switch lever. Okay. And then we can manipulate it. Good work, Elena. Now rejoin your body and spirit. You again. Okay. Short tutorial. I can hardly believe it. I just met a ghost. His name is Flying Hawk, and he's one of my ancestors. He told me my amulet has power, and he thought he had taught me how to use it. Now I can take control of my spirit. This is just what I need to help find Dad. I was yeah, I was feeling pretty worried for a little while, but I don't think anything can stop me now. Yeah, right before the fall, so be careful that you don't fall again. And you already fell a great, <laughs> a great distance. Let's see. Okay, angel, a ladder, and a cave in. So we're definitely not going that way. Hmm. Uh, I don't like it. Is it really? Sh sh it doesn't look that shopping to me. Yeah, maybe I, I have a tendency to see things a little bit faster, I guess. So it, it looks stands more out to me. Like the, this, this looks pretty normal. But when we, she was crawling, it was pretty obvious when it was switching between the animation frames. Yeah, yeah that, yeah, that maybe it could have been looked a bit choppy, but in general, it looks quite fine. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we have an elevator system time. in here. Okay, nothing to be done there. Hmm. Okay, for now we'll just have to explore around and see what we can find, and we'll try not to die. Hmm. Also, I when I looked over the recording of uh, of the earlier stream, apparently the deadbolt sound was really low. Locked storage is written on the door. Well, it's not that much d spoken dialogue but in that game to begin with, so it's not no, too bad. I, I meant with the, the music and the, the sound effects. The, the, the door is smeared with blood. Well, that cannot be good. Yeah, and I was guessing you meant that. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I might just turn up the audio for Deadbolt streams. We'll see how the audio for this comes out. Maybe I just need to. Maybe I just need to put it. Maybe I just need to increase it more overall because of the audio annoyances that we got due to the up, yeah, to do the update. Let's see. The great eagle returned and took me upon its bare crown again. We flew into the air and rested on the clouds. I could see beyond the horizon, and what I saw choked the breath from my lungs as my heart was wrenched from my chest. The earth turned in on itself, and so do did, uh, did my skin. The world was in certain upheaval. Pale figures marched across the land and brought with them blankets of death that covered my people as they slept. I saw plumes of dust darken the sky. No plants grew, and black, uh, giant black rivers ran across the land like infested veins. Monstrous beasts, uh, monstrous looking beasts of metal in the industry will fill our land and destroy the bonds we have worked so hard to nurture. Okay, basically, a uh, a vision of the future, uh, industry, and yeah, blankets of death. The, the, I know, I think there was at least one case where colonists gave Native Americans yeah, in, <clears throat> diseased infested blankets to basically kill them off. Coffin of Willard Hager, the state groundskeeper. I don't think my body would fit through that. Your body won't, but your spirit may. Let's see, it's the other side of the cave-in. Hello. Up. And back. Okay. A key to the storage area of some kind. Okay, we know where that is. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, shift does something, but it doesn't do anything yet. Mm -mm. I guess she'll look towards the camera with it for now. Mm. Okay, I think there was one area that I skipped over. A ladder. Uh, hello. Why is this cage moving all by itself? Oh, and oh, the dear. amulet is glowing bright red. Okay. Scratches on the wall. Whatever Matis was trying to get through the ceiling. Another note. Oh, worth, worth and willows. This day heralds the coming of a new dawn for me. The history books will sing my praises and the world over shall know of my deeds. I set off to settle this savage west. With me as many, uh, with me as always is my trusted companion, Darby O... Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Darby O'Halloran. O'Halloran. It was enormous relief to know he would accompany me. He's far and away my most trusted friend, and I don't know what I'd do without him. Along with us are 24 men that used to work for my father who are now under my employ. They will be crucial in the grunt work along the way. Also with me, of course, is my beautiful bride, Martha, who demanded she join me. Staying here in New England, however, is young Marcus. He's already 16 years old, almost a man. He shall continue his education and apprentice under, his own, under my own father. He could have no better uh, teacher, sir, surely. The boy pleaded with me to come along, but I told him he needed to do what was right for the family business, that someone would need to look after it while I established myself in the West. He's a sharp lad and understood well the necessity of his sacrifice. I embraced him more tightly than ever uh, I had dared to, uh, yeah, dared to do, but he'd soon be a man and I knew he could take it. Okay, also let's step away from whatever is causing that. Uh, also, Pyro, how is the audio on your end? Is it the game low or is it plenty audible? I just realized I have my volume a bit higher than usual, since I'm used to having it on half. Okay, so yeah, I'll, I might need to turn the audio up on everything. I'll, I'll check that out after this stream. Okay. Now. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Anastasio Arbore? This lever opens the crypt door. Worthlem hit the lever in here to keep his secrets from escaping. Okay. It feels like something heavy moved. Very heavy. Is there some... Oh. Hello. Some sort of bug. Okay, that's only visible whilst we are separated, or whilst our spirit is separated. Hmm. Yeah, what? Oh, and also maybe if Eric got to know what those are. We'll probably get to know later in the game. It's anything new in here? Or anything changed in here, more like? The bag has moved uh, down, I think. Uh, I'm kind of glad we finally have one year where we actually have a Spooktober theme. <laughs> we were kind of unable to do it uh, the other times. Yeah. So we had a very Oops. different uh, streaming uh, order at that time. <laughs> and, oh yeah, weren't you still working the security thingy in, in last year, October? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that, that did not help either. Let's see, we didn't check up here. Okay, just um, climb out of a grave. Someone must have really loved this person. Not enough to not... It's locked. There's a crescent moon shape on the door. Not enough to not make their grave a secret... <laughs> a, 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 yeah, a secret passageway. Hmm... Okay, I don't think there's much else for us to see here. Oh, the notes. Okay, number one from Flying Hawk. I soared through the sky as I saw the, I sat atop a great eagle's bald head. 
I was carried further up beyond the clouds until I sat with the stars. I watched as the gods molded the world and used their own bodies for the clay. They tore out their hearts for the, er er for the earth's core, and their blood is the water we drink. We walk about uh, and their dirt, flesh, and rock bones. When all that was left were the hands they used to shape the world, their fingers became the trees that cover our land. It is to them that we owe everything, and we must honor our eternal bond and live in harmony with the Great Spirit. The Spirit Realm caused me more often than it did before. As High Shaman of the Quantaco, of Quantaco I must heed its call and relate to my people what the Great Spirit has shown me. Okay. Uh, I mean, I've read his name. Uh, let's I think you said Blackhawk. Uh, okay, if I did, then yeah, I messed that up, but it's Flying Hawk. Yeah, wrong game. Uh, yes. Wait, isn't that a game called Blackhawk Get Down? Yeah, I think that's a movie. Uh, oh, wait, it's both, I think. Hmm. I would not be surprised if, if it's both. Hello, another note. My dearest Martha has fallen dreadfully ill. She's contracted a case of dysentery. The physician we brought with us believes she will live, but I am in a constant state of worry. I care for her day and night. Surely she cannot care for herself. It pains me that she cannot see the beautiful land we pass through. I feel as though the sight will do her well. But the physician has warned me that she mustn't move, nor be moved by any, else her fragile state could go into disarray. I pray to God that he will save her. I can do not but wait and pray. Okay. I get the feeling that she's not going to make it. And I think we just... Re is this the start? I think this is the start. Oh, no. Jeremy Mode. This coffin looks like it was made in a rush. Ew. Oh, Crescent Key. Okay, that's for the door we just found. And why is there a, a beast skull? What was all about things? Uh, it, oh, great! I think we know why that's there now. Oh, yeah, I, think, crap. I think we both have forgot about that one. Okay. Open that up. And just get out. Oop. A growing darkness has plagued this place since my death. It festers beneath the surface like an infected boil. In exchange for my teachings, you must in turn assist me, Elena. I need to find my body, and you're the only one who can help. Uh, let's not head back down there. I don't think there's much of value to be gotten there anymore. Crates? I wonder what's, all, what's in all these crates. If we had a crowbar, we could try and look. Okay. We've been here. Wait. Was this door open before? Yes, because we went through there. And we got something. Okay. So now we go back up to the coffin. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely some bad mojo floating around here. Mm. Question is, who's mojo? Hmm. Yo yo. Hmm. Okay. What on earth was that thing? I felt like I was living one of my nightmares. I could feel, feed, feed, yeah, feel it feeding on me, on my spirit. Ugh. I'm so tired, but I have to keep going. I'm the only one that can find my dad. The demon's gone now, and I almost, I'm, not, I'm almost out of here. I promised Flying Hawk I'd help him find his body. I'm not sure, but I feel like the guest house is where I should look first. Okay. I think this is about where we ended the showcase. Fountain. What an old fountain. I'm surprised it still works. 
garden. It's locked. It bucket. The wood is so worn with age. The notes. Hey, John hmm. Elkhorn. I've been hired as groundskeeper of the Willows Mansion here in town. It's not my ideal work situation, but at least it's income for now. It should be, you know, just be temporary for me anyway, but I can't stay unemployed with a family to provide for. I have to make sure I'll be able to, you know, to send Elena to a good you know, school and buy her the things she needs. I was actually really you know, lucky to come across this opportunity. The old, ground, you know, the, the old groundskeeper suddenly decided he'd had enough of the place after 30 some years of watching over it. He quit on the spot. It was an immediate hire position. I don't have much experience with this kind of thing, aside from landscaping when I was 17 years or so, uh, old or so. Uh, but they needed someone, and it would appear as though I'm that someone. Okay, this must this must be a note from Willow's father. So it Willow, yeah. <laughs> not Willow, so Elena, Elena Elkhorn. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That's the end of that. Don't have time to rest yet. Yep, can't open that. There is something spooky here, though. Oop. Or rather, someone spooky. Did you see the white men? I'm picking flowers for them. Flying Hawk says we should be peaceful. Okay. Yeah, she died young. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, nothing over this way except for the spooky tree. Okay, so that leaves only one way to go. Hmm. Another note. Okay, worth them again. Yorg Marcus wish, uh, wishes to visit me here, but I have taken up residence inside a meager farmhouse that I commissioned the men to build for me. I do not wish for him to see me living in such a hut, but my means now allow me to live rather than com uh, yeah, to live rather more comfortably. And so I have decided to build a mansion befitting of my rising wealth and stature. As my wealth grows, so too shall my mansion and the extravagance of its grounds. My quaint farmhouse shall be converted into a guest house, as I plan to host functions that uh, will make me famous on this side of the country. I hope uh, to have much in order. <clears throat> I hope to have much in order when he arrives, such that we may spend ample time visiting together. He has informed me within his letters of how much he has grown, and I truly, uh, yeah, truly cannot wait to see the boy. It has been far too long. I look forward to seeing him and getting a glimpse of what his mother has shown up inside. Uh, of of what of his mother has shown up inside him. Okay, this this is note number seven. That's quite a jump. Yeah, we hmm. missed a few. They probably we're just just scattered all around the place. Let's see. Okay, wish I had something to cut these vines with. So something sharp. Oh, hello. Who's here? That the heck? Petty officer Holmes. I tried to take my girl into the old Willows Conservatory, but I didn't have anything to cut the vines with. He looks overtaken by something. Is that supposed to be earth or plants? Maybe though he was missing flesh on his fingers. Yeah. I'm going to guess that, that it's, that's mud or something. It, did he drown in mud? Hmm. Is it technically drown if it's in muds? But hmm. you do say drown in quicksand. Okay, ladder. No, not ladder. Stairs. No notes. Okay, number four. I do believe we have found an opportune location for our new home. A verdant glade surrounded by rivers teeming with fish and an abundance of wild game. A complication exists, however. The glade is home to a tribe of savages called the Quanto. I have heard tell that they are a peaceful folk, but it confounds my mind to think that savages with neither government nor laws could contain any amount of civility within their primitive brains. Ugh. Fucking asshole. Yeah. I shall do my part as a member of the superior race, fuck you, and oh. extend to them the decorum upon which I was most uh, robustly reared. I shall conduct myself as though I were at, at a business meeting with other refined gentlemen. 
Uh, I think we can guess where this goes, seeing as all of this is here. I really want to punch the writer there. The, not the story of writer, I mean the character. Let's see, who are you? The hell? Um, Les Rivers. I must admit, frankly, I'm shocked. It feels like I've been waiting around forever for my business meeting with Mr. Willows. The sun here is so bright and warm, I may just take a nap in it. And it does, looks like he didn't wake up from that and he had his hands cut off. Or at least one no, hand no, and... Look, look again. Not only cut off. Yeah. Bitten off? Hmm. They may have been burned off. They look like burn wounds. Severe ones. Hmm. Yeah, they, they lack enough detail to really tell since, well, they're mostly two-tone. Hmm. Okay, so we need to get our hands on something sharp to cut those vines. Let's see, a well. Oh, attach the bucket. Hmm. Flying Hawk thinks his body's so uh, somewhere in the guest house. I'd rather check around there. Okay. So, no going down the well. Oh, hello, you two. Madame Luge. Oh my, it has been quite chilly as of late. Please, take my coat. A lady such as yourself shouldn't go cold. Hmm? Why, such a gentleman. Go ahead. Everybody out wants to finish talking to them. Okay. I thank you kindly, sir. Oh, I assure you, miss. The pleasure is all mine. Is there mushrooms or something growing out of them? Neil, look at the lady. Something. I want you to look at her hands and leg. Okay, yeah. Most of one of her legs is just plain gone, and the other is broken the wrong way around. No, 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 not Actually, I think they look, both are. Look again. Do you see something off with them? Beyond them being dead. She has spots yeah. on that arm, and there's something grow. I think that's supposed to be the bone sticking out. That's and not her neck. bone, Gillian. That's but... metal. Hmm. Yes. One of see? the legs is a broken metal leg, and the other one is a man mangled metal piece. It Rounding yeah, to what's your left of her arm. I think I, I think those are supposed to be the bones. And yeah, she's been ma yeah. she's been completely mangled. Yeah, I look at no, that's that's metal. That, I think that's someone tried to make it protected for her and failed. Hmm. It's so also something on her back. She may have been experimented on. And, that, and the other that one is covered bit... in glass. Hmm. Yeah, people did not die uh, in their sleep in this. And, yeah, oh, none of them dear. seem aware that they are dead. Okay. Another note. Blur LaRue. I arrived in California last week and have luckily already managed to find work for myself. I am a dancer in the local saloon. <clears throat> it is not the glamorous life here I had imagined, but it is something, and that is all I need for now. The saloon also runs a brothel in its walls, but I cannot. But I could never resort to such a profession. Most of the town is owned by a man named Wortham Willows. I have not seen the man, but his name is on the lips of almost all I meet. He even owns the saloon where I work. There are rumors about him, some good, some bad. I do not know which to believe. Okay, I'm going to take a guess that Martha didn't survive, and that... Uh, started taking a toll on his long-term sanity. Hmm. I wonder what this oh place dear. looked like in its prime. Hmm. Tool shed. Okay. There's still power here. No ground for the clock. And another note. I must overlook that. Okay, John again. I'd heard stories of this place when I was growing up from, uh, from my grandpa, uh, yeah, grandparents, and we learned about its history in school, but I never uh, knew who to believe. 
The stories from my family told a dark history of brutal, brutal genocide and inhuman enslavement of our people, the Quanto natives. The history I learned in school was quite different. Wortham Willows, the forebear of this place, was depicted as an independently wealthy tycoon around whose endeavors the town sprouted. The thing is, I can see evidence for both sides of the argument, and that evidence is strewn about these grounds. Uh, people just cleaning up history. Yeah. Wow, look at the shovel. I wonder how old it Elizabeth, is. She has a healthy mind, so she does see... There's evidence of uh, yeah, it's not, some evidence was, on both sides, but also falseness from both as well. That was John's notes, not uh, Elena's. Oh. Still, still have a mindset. Hmm. But they, they don't blindly believe either, but they see willing to listen to both. Yeah. Oh, the, the guest house, okay. And then look at the evidence afterwards. <laughs> I won't hang Dad's jacket up there. Oh, oh, is that your father's jacket you're wearing? I think it's, that will explain why the sleeves are too long. Hmm. Oh dear. And even today, it's happening that people are trying to fill with history books. Yeah, Alonso Martinez. Hey there, little lady. Let me play a tune that's as pretty as you. Um, hmm. No, that's not it. Hmm. I must apologize, little lady. I can't remember how it goes, and I don't have my sheath music either. If you can find my sheath music, I'd love to play you a song. Okay, so he's more what? aware. Wait. What the heck happened to him? I more want to know what the hell made that noise. Was not me. Another one from Flying Hawk. It has been many a year since the Great Bald Eagle first visited me. Its visit is always a sign. I must take great care to decipher the meaning of my vision. The pit in my stomach wants, uh, me, uh, uh, warns me of what could be if I do not. I flew once more with the Great Bald Eagle, but this time he did not show me what was or what will be. No, he instead showed me what already is. We traveled east across the lands to where the white men live in their busy cities with their busy lives. They are removed from the Great Spirit's presence, ruled by a different god, one that manifests their destinies. I could see the spread of these people. Like a sickness within the body, they grow and expand. I saw trails before them that blazed with fire and gold and shimmered in the men's eyes, and, and they were entranced by it. It is their fortunes they saw within the fires that these me white men uh, desire. Riches these men shall seek, but only turmoil and death they shall find. I woke violently from my trance, my blankets drenched in sweat. We must ready ourselves for their coming. We must be the cure for their sick spirits. If not us, then whom? The duty falls to my people, for we are those who have been shown the way. We must protect our way, our way of life. Not through violence, but through a com uh, communion with nature and with one another. I very much doubt that uh, that worked. Not to say that it can't work, but the other side needs to be willing to, but yeah. Oh, another note. Okay, the missing number three. All my prayer, all my devotion did nothing to save Martha. I do not even have the resources to build a proper casket for her. God has truly forsaken us both. I couldn't just leave her there in the desolate plains for the rats and maggots to have at her. No, I shall protect her even now, even in death. We were to carve her home together, out of the wilds of the west. She will come with us, and she will not be interred until I found, I found a suitable place for her. If any man dares object to my decision, uh, deci yeah, decision to bring Martha with us, no matter his reasons, I shall in that very instant shoot him dead. Yeah, it seems I guessed right. Uh. I think I just get dirtier in here. Let's see, nothing else here? Okay. Wait, is that all we can really visit here? Or did I overlook something? Hmm. No, 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 there's a door, a passageway here. 
Okay. Hmm. The kitchen. Hmm. What a crazy looking stove. Hmm. An old school stove. Okay. Hello. Willard Hagger. Wait, didn't we find your casket earlier? So many. So many slaughtered. All those natives and their blood on our hands. We will be damned. Damned, I say. Our souls damned to hell. Yeah. Yes. Saw that one coming. Yeah, that one was not proud. <laughs> Mom would throw a fit if our nice china looked at it like that. <laughs> oh, and the notes. Number four, a flying hawk. At last they come. Oh, it was foretold to me years ago, but the visions are still fresh within my mind. We have heard from tribes we trade with that the white man is on his way. The expeditions into the west have come and gone, and they have found it a place worthwhile. The other tribes bring news of the east. What we have heard does not bode well, but it aligns with what the great bald eagle showed me. We have heard tell that the white man is violent, that he kills indiscriminately for gain and for pleasure, heedless of his god's laws. We must now do more than ever to show the white man that we can live together in peace. We are all creatures of this earth and we share in that our common bond. We shall accept them as the brothers to us that they are. Yeah, too bad that yeah, they saw you as less than cattle even. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Sometimes I... There are many moments where I don't like being human. There's a gap you know over there. there. I mean. nope, door is stuck. Yeah. Some people are just yeah, a little better than animals. Even when they claim that they are far above any such things. They have a frequency yeah. of showing themselves to be worse than yeah, all that they claim others to be. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Like, they have learned a lot from our history to not repeat it. But not all have, have done that. For some people seemed eager to repeat it, unknowingly enough. Yeah. Curtains. Okay. Hmm. What's over here? Okay, another bathroom. Uh. It doesn't look comfortable. Oh, there's a gap. Probably was comfortable once. Yeah, probably when the wood wasn't rotted out. Okay, little maze. Hmm. Okay, all of that is just a dead end. Let's see. That's a loop. So... Yeah, this way and around. Hmm. Dead end. Dead end, so that leaves one way. There we go. Hello. Okay. What? That's a Is bit that elaborate. I think so. Uh, what? Wait, what do you think I said? Uh, th 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 what I heard you say is that's supposed to be, and uh, yeah, basically. No. Mm -hmm. That's what not then? what I said. What then? I said, what is this supposed to be? As a question. <laughs> Close enough, but it's a portrait with... Yes. Uh, <laughs> not that. I know what a portrait is. I'm in the damn tunnel. She just walked through. Yeah, it, this is a secret room. Why the sheet music is stuck here, I don't know. Okay, so it's a, it's a secret... Okay, okay, okay. Why do I get the feeling that we're going to be attacked whilst crawling through some place at one point or another? Yeah, I think they're still crawling through that 
less choppy. <laughs> no, I, think I have heard that people doing all style for crawling has been a thing people often struggle with. Hmm. Let's see. Let's check over here. Might as well explore as much of this place as we can before we hand over the sheet music. Let's see. Nope, there's someone here. Oh, oh, you. Lenora Freeman. I'm the one that, uh, they made get water from the well. The only one. So I left the bucket back in the garden. When they can't find me, uh, what will they, yeah, what will they do? Go thirsty. That's right. You died of illness, I'm guessing, from all of the boils, like all of the boils. And okay, something happens here. Wait, go back. There was lot. Hmm. I'm gonna take a closer look for. At her or the blood works? The room with seven urns, tools. Yeah, and either someone room. was operated on here or, or someone was tortured here. At a room? Hmm. Hmm? No wheels or anything. Yes, back in the day, luggage came without wheels. And the last one, a flying hawk. A group of young braves spied a party of white men coming from the east. We do not know of anything about them. It is my hope that they will be of no danger to us. However, we, we must ready ourselves for action if need be, all the while presenting open arms to these new friends. We have prepared food so that our visitors may share in our bounty, and we wish to welcome them. Some of the women and children have prepared themselves to flee if these men turn violent. Something I asked them to do. I hate to think it, but we uh, will need people to continue our line. Among these uh, women and children are my daughters, granddaughters and grandsons. If I cannot save myself, I can at least save them. But I have no doubt these white men will regard us well. So long as we show ourselves to be welcoming and civilized, they will see us as their own. Uh... Sadly, wishful thinking, Flying Crow. Wishful thinking. Door is locked. Okay. Now, let's go hand over that sheet music then. I'm tired, but I can't rest until I find Dad. I am curious what happens to your father. Yeah, and it's probably good to rest so easier to find the dad. So, yeah, you do more mistakes when you're tired. Yeah. Pro oh, likely why I'm pretty, he's not been more careful with the telling you to be careful about going over time. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Elena. Thank you. I've been so lost without the gift of music in my life. Now I shall play for you the song I promised. Oh, he hello. Uh, also, that looks weird with how the ghost is positioned. Yeah, I was just to say, okay, love the melody, but... Yeah, maybe he plays that ghost a bit weird, the uh, position there. And I'm thinking wait, he died... Yeah, I'm thinking he died in the thorn bush or something, or a rose bush or something with thorns. It looks more like they stabbed him into that bush. Oh, sorry, I got yeah, it out there. It, it looks more like it grew out of him. I sense a great amount of death and decay nearby. We must be getting close. We're going to get chased again, aren't we? You must dig, Elena, and uncover what lies beneath. Is this where you were buried? Oh no, this... this isn't right. We've unearthed these anguished souls of the dead. Elena, go! Get out now! I... I think you might be a bit too late with that? Holy. I... Th I think we found 
where they buried the victims. Okay, get out a quick. Wave. Give me a give them a hand, escape the basement. I'm baffled by this, Elena. I was sure my body would be found here. I remember falling, falling down into darkness, a pit of despair. Please, Elena, we must continue the search. Okay, a pit. Or It'll maybe. Be there, just... Yeah, uh -huh. just buried under layers and layers of victims. There's so much in this place I don't understand. Why is there such a feeling of darkness here? And why would someone want to take my dad? Flying Hawk doesn't know enough to give me solid facts either. I have so many unanswered questions, it makes me want to cry. My energy feels so sapped from everything I've seen. But it doesn't matter. I have to keep searching, no matter what. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go check out the well next then. Uh, where was that again? Okay, for a moment I thought I saw the, the grass move in a different way. Okay, looks like we've done a circle. That's that soldier around there. The observatory. I'm guessing we're not going to be interested in that yet until later. For now, let's go find the well again. Yep. Speaking of... Did they throw your body in the well? That would be actually stupid. Since it poisoned it. Oh yes, we're getting close. I can feel my body's presence nearby. I think it's Why? not the only presence here, Hawk. Did people get sick because they proved it dumb? This is far enough. My body lies in the dirt just beyond the walls of this uh, well. And there's someone else here as well, or is that... Thank you for your help, Elena. Oh, okay, the, the, their bodies are separated... are animated separately. I would have wandered endlessly throughout this world without you. I can now finish my journey to the afterlife. I wish you luck in finding your father. I assure you he lives, but you must hurry. I'll be watching over you. Goodbye, Elena. Okay. I can rest in peace. You can finally rest in peace, Flying Hawk. Because of you, I know my dad's in the mansion somewhere. Thank you for everything. Free bird. Took my word from my mouth there? <laughs> uh, her, I mean, like I said, may he rest in peace, and she basically said almost the same. Yeah. And just throwing a body down a well is never a good idea, especially if the well is in use, or going to be in use. Because, well, now we are drinking corpse juices. Uh. We're ever alone. Flying Hawk's gone now. He's resting in peace somewhere. I'm happy for him. I really am. He'd wanted this world for far too long. I just wish he didn't have to leave me all alone. I feel a bit lost without him. But he didn't leave me with nothing after all. I don't think I would have gotten this far without his help. And thanks to him, I know uh, what I have to do. I've got to find my way into the mansion now. It's so big and scary looking from the outside. I really don't want to do this. But if it means finding my dad, I'll do anything I have to. Okay. Let's see, that's the two ghosts there. Hmm. I'm presuming we can't just enter? Oh, oh we can. Chapter 2, Wortham's Warrior. Okay, and there is the man himself, I'm guessing. Uh, good gods. Let's see, number five. I met with the Quanto Shaman uh, this morning, a man named Flying Hawk. We met to discuss the bartering of this land, but our conversation took a turn. He told me that this area was rife with spiritual, uh, spiritual power, that the veil between this life and the next was thinner here than elsewhere. We spoke of Martha, that he could help me see her again. I believed him, and he offered me this peace pipe. 
I wasn't sure, but the man told <coughs> the man told me that it would help me f to free myself. I partook of the strange smoke he gave me, and the man told me I must you know, let go of her if I wish to see her again, that my spirit must be pure. We sat in meditation for some time. My mind raced all the while. A bout of paranoia seized me, and I realized what this menacing man was trying to do. He would have me abandon my hopes for the future, have me live a life of savagery. I knew he was trying to poison my mind, and, it would have wait and I would have wagered that the smoke was of nefarious intent as well. I refused to abide to such insolence. I stood from my seat and challenged this necromancer to fight me, but he did not stir. I wrapped my hand around his throat and still he did not move. I squeezed until I felt the life leave from his body and he slumped down. I released my grip and my fingers peeled from his skin as he fell back from me. I exited the, the teepee and gave my men the order to purge these vile savages from this earth as God would command me to. Darby even made his first kill. I would be proud of him, but he trembled uh, by his horse for the rest of the battle. It was like a little, uh, it was like a little girl. They're savages after all. <sighs> now you see why I want to punch him. Definitely. I would, <laughs> I would fault you not a single second. <laughs> this is awesome. Maybe worth them. Didn't have such bait in the taste after all. Yeah, the art is nice. I just don't like the, who, the one who purchased it. Yeah, and how he got to all of this. How he got all of this in his possession. The heck? A tail wardrobe fell through the freaking floor here. Okay. Uh, uh, look at the wall. Okay, something happened there. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. The floor came in, but also it could have been a floor molded that just came away from it. Then it had fed with enough force and weight to crack the next floor, but the wall itself shows something. Yeah. <clears throat> I am among the few remaining of my bloodline, descended from a line of powerful shaman. I may not have the powers they once did, but my attunement with nature remains the same. It's taken me some time to recognize it, but there's a subtle energy at play here that permeates the very air I breathe. The veil between the planes of life and death in this place is thin. Spirits seem to pass between planes as you know, though through osmosis. It's almost indescribable the way I can feel their presence here. I want to know what it all means. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing... I'm guessing the fact that there was a fallout genocide here also didn't help with how thin the barrier is. So what is the point of moving this? Oh, uh, <laughs> filling that gap in. What <laughs> goes up we must come down. <laughs> come on. Uh, creative, creative. <laughs> yes, hope it holds. Uh... Okay, and I'm guessing that's as far as we can go with that. Okay. Now what's over? Uh, locked. Hmm. Now, what's on the other side? Painting. Yeah. An uh. elevator. Oh, and there's someone here. What the? Dar oh, Darby. Oh, it's just a wee lass. Worth them to me, best mate. You won't be getting past me. You don't want to see the likes of you. My wife's more inclined to wasting time with little girls. Okay, jackass. Uh, I'm guessing you it. die. Yeah, the way look he's holding his foot. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing he either he either choked, drowned, or otherwise suffocated, or maybe he was poisoned. Poison, maybe. Hmm. Uh, my mind wants he had a. Severe case of parasites and got his throat slit. <laughs> Belongs in a museum. <laughs> Is this an Indiana Jones game, Elena? Hmm. Okay, so he's. Oh. Darby Hollering. I met a huge man inside the mansion named Darby. He has a strange accent that sounds Irish, but I'm not quite sure. He didn't want to talk to me much, but he did mention someone named Wortham. 
I think Wurtham was the man who owned this mansion. We learned about him in school. He helped to create our town. I don't know why that Darby guy would mention him, but he didn't want to tell me much. He even yelled at me, so I left him alone. I don't know why he'd be so mean to a little girl. Hmm. Okay. God's the, the faces. The, he looks kind of smug. Oh, what do we have here? Claire or Halloran? My poor Darby. His murderer was never found, despite my efforts. I was looking into his death, but something stopped me. To this day, I don't know what it was. Please help me, Elena. I can't rest until his murderer is found. Okay, now we have to play murder mystery as well with all of this. Hmm. Let's see, we can't go that way. We can go up here. Let's see. Hello. Move that aside. Hmm. In we go and... Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, we can just move the key around. Okay. I see only one opening, so can we... Yes, we can. <laughs> uh, can we just... Yeah, we can just move it over here. <laughs> it, it, it looks like you, tr you put it into a navel to use her as a door. Okay, some sort of bowl on the key. Hmm. We haven't found a door with any bowl imagery yet. So we'll probably find that on the other side. Or maybe in another room. Hmm. I get the feeling that uh, Wortham probably invoked the wrath of quite a few angry spirits. Oh, here it is. And they probably drove him absolutely mad. But I wouldn't be surprised if he even drove the attention of uh, some evil spirits as well. Let's see. Oh, Darby. Today is a day of excitement, to be sure. I'm traveling off with my best mate, Wortham Willows, to the great unsettled west. We seek our fortunes there, and I dare say we will face many a danger. I have heard tales of beasts and the savages that await us. Wortham is but a gentle man, and lacks my size, so I feel it my duty to protect him along our journey. Without him and his, I do not know what would have become of my family. The Willows gave us work when none, uh, uh, when none, uh, none one other would. I feel it my duty to keep him safe, no matter what happens. I will shoulder, shoulder his burdens as best I can. Uh, oh. Loyalty is nice, but it should not. Uh, it should have limits. Yeah, and he definitely underestimated Wurfem. Uh, or rather, overestimated him, I guess. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, overestimated would be more correct. Overestimated. Um... Hmm? I thought I saw some. <laughs> what does this fox say, really? Oh, for love of. Uh, uh. Oh, man. Is it dusty in here? What the heck is this? That skull is way too small for those antlers. John again? I've enjoyed delving into the mysteries of this place. There's so much to learn, and I'm not referring to all the books and pieces of history that dust, you know, that dust collect dust. No, I speak of something else entirely. When I was a boy, my grandfather uh, taught me to commune with nature, that it was the most spiritual endeavor I could hope to perform. At the time, I didn't understand what he meant, but spending time here has opened my eyes to the truth of the old sage's uh, words. I can admit in these pages that I've seen things no other living man has seen. I ventured beyond the mortal coil and found the other side. I've come back, but not wholly unscathed. I feel marks upon the fabric of my soul, but what that means, I do not uh, yet know. I don't yet know. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Hello. Oh, 
There's something lurking there. Yeah. This is a switch. Hmm. Careful now. Oh, it glows red. Yeah, I think if we step forward too much here, it will get attacked. Hmm, but I think we need to progress past here. So... Wait, do we have... Okay, it doesn't leave its hole. And yes, the game is making saves periodically. All right. I get the feeling That's we'll only good. get to pass by that another time. The cute bison. What a cute bison! I want to just take it home with me. <laughs> Priorities. Another note. Oh, Darby missed one. All the men, were them included, look at me differently now. I see the disdain for me playing on their faces. I know they whisper about me behind my back, calling me a coward and worse things I will not repeat here. Wortham has given me a job as a supervisor of the mines, as good a job as I could hope. It would seem as though they want to sim you know, they want simply to lump all the immigrants together. I still see that little girl in my dreams, and the look on her face as she realized what I was doing. I see her when I walk into town, but it's never her. My mind is playing tricks on me, and I do not know how long I can stand it. Seeing her troubles me to no end, and I awaken in the wee hours of the morning, drenched in sweat, my heart racing. I still have my shirt from that day, and I wear it under my clothes at all times to remind me of my evils. Oh, yeah. <sighs> so many old books. I wonder what they're about. A letter? Oh, what's this? A letter from Wortham. Letter to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, I have sent this letter in secret. I need your help as well as your silence. Darby O'Halloran has died by my hands. His madness has, had overtaken his mind. Though he was my best and longest friend, I cannot bring myself to handle his corpse. And I have a room and a casket in the catacombs that uh, I want you to place his body in. I shall visit it later. I also ask that you keep the grave unmarked. You are the only one I can trust with this task, Jeremiah. I once again request your silence on this matter. Worth and willows. Could have seen that coming. And leaving a grave on Mark almost an insult? In mm -hmm. this case? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. One thing to not mark it because you can't mark it, but this is a case where you should have been able to do it. Okay, that thing is out of its hole. How do I combat it? Oh. Or do we just continue to dodge it? Oh. Okay, there was another one there. And we should not see... Oh! I think you could pause it last time by pure coincidence. Now, I think it was staying in there just permanently. Let's you're see. You can only see it when you're in the ghost form. Let's see. Does it come out and go the other way? It was actually... Oh, yeah, but you yeah. paused it. It was no eyes. So, I may... so when you walked past it, it had gone the other way. No, I don't think so. I think it stayed in there until we passed. Okay, is it going to go right back in or is it going to continue on? It goes in. Okay, this is our time to move. Okay, I, sh I should have noticed that something was off when the amulet wasn't shining red whilst we were walking past it. Yep. <laughs> Itsy bitsy, escaped his trophy room. Oh. Uh. Okay, for a moment I thought the game was going into a cutscene or something, but I noticed hey. this here. Hello. Let's see. Anything or anyone here? Did someone sleep up here? Yep. Hello. You are missing your legs. Emiko Minami. 
Ohio. I am one of Wortham's many guests. A pleasure to meet you. Okay, did he start murdering his guests? Another note. Fleur, number three. My hands tremble and it is all I can do to hold this pen as I write herein. I have even missed the inkwell on a few occasions. I have only just uh, come home from the most wonderful evening of my life. I feel I need to catch my breath. Wortham Willows, the town's mayor, the richest most influential man for hundreds of miles around, took me out for a night in the town. And what a night it was, notwithstanding the secrecy. I have never been treated so much like royalty. I couldn't believe it. Every second I was there, it was amazing. We truly had a feast, with dishes that covered every inch of the table. Afterwards, he treated me to a play. I had never been to a play before. My head still swims from all the fine wine and excitement. He is truly romantic, uh, a truly romantic gentleman, this Wortham Willows. I hope to see him again soon, but for now I must rest. I can feel my heart flutter in my chest. Okay. So does that mean that he had children? Or that he started killing even his lovers? Could have done that from the start. Just jump back, but okay. okay. That's locked. Yeah, if the door is locked and they, Elena doesn't say that it has a symbol or something, then it means that it's going to stay locked, I think. Yeah, or at least so it's open by another means. Like something else opens it or something. Maybe. For now... Okay. Here you go. There was one other that knew of Wortham's deeds. Before I met my end, I was to have a secret meeting with him. Toolshed. Four o'clock in the morning. He was going to tell me everything. Yeah, and he, he, instead he told you nothing and ensured that you would tell no one. Murderous psychopaths. Okay, so that means that we have to go find yeah, the tool shed. I think. Pyro again? <laughs> hmm. Wait, wasn't the tool shed right here? Yep. There you go. The tool shed. Okay, now we mess with the clock. I thought so. Oh. Jeremiah Modes. I ain't supposed to tell, but Mr. Wortham asked for my help one night. I dug a grave for Mr. Darby. I've kept it a secret till now, but I couldn't hold it in man anymore. I buried him deep in the catacombs in a locked room where no one could find him. You can have the key to the room. I just want to wash my hands of the whole thing forever. It looks like... wait... No, he, he did Hello. not take his own life. And hello, Pika. He was hung. He, he was hung by others. Just look yeah. at his wrists. Yeah, I see the wrist there, yeah. Why do I get the feeling that Wortham had him hanged under false charges? <laughs> hello, H. Alien. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing, Pika? Yep, with friends like these. I just can't believe it. That man Wortham. He and Darby were best friends, and he killed poor Mr. Halloran. Why? Why did he do that? They were best friends. They never mentioned in school that he was a murderer. They only said the nicest thing about him. Yeah, things about him. How he helped to tame this wild land, and how it was thanks to him that our town existed. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. You know, we have a letter by his own hand admitting to murder. So, I think that's enough evidence to show that... He was not a man of any, well, worth. But I'm just... Yeah, I think some people are starting to learn that, uh... Yeah, that town they grew up in was not... built in the pleasant way they may have been told. Yeah. Let's see. Pika, dude, I'm so EP. 
You know, EP as in what? BP? BP? Creepy? BP? Crit as well. Okay. Oh, wait. We got a bloody key, and we know there's a room or door covered with bloods. Also, I'm going to guess that that's Martha's grave. Or what's supposed to be. Oh, dear. Hmm. Now, where was that door again? Yeah, that just leads back to the hole we fell in through. Hmm. But, yeah, welcome, Pika. We're playing a game called Whispering Willows. And, yeah, we're playing a girl with uh, latent shum uh, sh shaman powers. And, uh, yeah, we're looking for our father in this uh, creepy-ass place. Hmm. I think your accent slipped through. <laughs> okay. You said powers. <laughs> Is that how you had to Is that how you say powers usually? No. Okay, that's only that's where that thing is in the cage. Nice to know that they are, or that they can be contained out here. We by physical means. Yeah, unlock the key door with the bloody key. Oh, dear. And there is Darby's body. And that face again on the wall. I think it's supposed to be a gargoyle or a demon. Oh my gosh, this shirt is so stained in blood. Why did you pick it up? Yeah, because we have to show it to Darby, I presume. Hmm. Okay, not this way. Hmm. Yeah, I was honestly expecting to be chased by something again. It wouldn't have been Darby's spirit, but it could have been, uh... Yeah, Darby's guilt and anger and such personified. Because those have a tendency to get separated from a spirit at, in certain stories. Hmm. Okay, out of the garden. And we need to head back to the mansion, which I believe is this way. No, that's the, <clears throat> the conservatory. And then over here to the further is yeah the observatory. So yeah, to the mansion. And in we go to remind him of his crimes, of what uh, his so-called friends made him do. Uh -oh. I have no idea who this is. Okay. My shirt. I always wore it ever since that day. The day of the massacre. But what are you doing with it? You're like that little girl in the garden. Always reminding me of the past. Who? The little girl in the garden... Hmm. Yep. Tattered remains. Words don't work to describe how I'm feeling. I feel so hopeless. Everything I've learned about the past make it seem horrible, and that's where we all came from. If this is where we came from, how can we hope to do any better? We've all killed each other selfishly for generations, and now, and right now, it doesn't seem like it's going to get any better. But there has to be something better than all this. There just has to be. I'll find it, and if it doesn't exist, I'll create it. Yeah, that's the good way to look at it. Yeah. The past may be bloodied to all hell, but that doesn't mean that the future has to be. Indeed. <laughs> Pika Go casually buys this game. <laughs> I like this game so far, but I will not lie. It does make me sad. Yeah. That's the guest house. Back to the garden. 
Okay, I'm starting to get a feel of how this place is orientated. Hmm. Oh, there's someone here. All right, you, you're the, you're Darby's victim, aren't you? Oh, you've met the white man. Help me pick flowers for him. I need three more flowers to finish by a bouquet. And why do I get the feeling that she was beaten to death with how her head is just discolored like that? Or maybe he, maybe he, yeah, he, he pro seeing how big Darby is, he probably hit her on the head and just caved her skull in right there and then. Okay. Soaring bouquets. We're all the drear of this place. I met a little girl and she's actually happy. She's just the cutest thing. I like her a lot. Maybe even more than Flying Hawk. It makes me sad though. I don't think she knows she's dead. Her name is Skyflower and she told me she's gathering flowers for the white men. I miss coming I, I, I miss coming here with mom and dad. I used to pick flowers as a little girl, just like Skyflower. I might help her pick some flowers. Maybe it cheer me up some. Yeah, sometimes you just need to distract yourself from well, everything. Yeah. Oh. That's no good. Okay. Darby 2? My hand shakes as I write. This day has been the worst of my life. We went to see the savages to find which rumors proved to be true and which false. Some said they were a violent folk, while others claimed them to be peaceful. I cannot say which to be true. We waited outside the shaman's teepee while Wortham sought his counsel inside. He was different when he came out. I do not know what it was that I sensed in him, but he was a changed man. He told the men to kill everyone, and they galloped off with grins in their faces. I stayed put. The little girl ran towards us with flowers in her hands. He told me to do it. He said she would grow up to murder my sons in their sleep. But I could not bring myself to shoot her. She got too close for my rifle, and he kept yelling at me to just be a man and do it. I brought my gun up and brought it down upon her. She fell to the ground, and I knew she was dead. I walked to my horse and was sick. I stayed out of the rest of the fighting. So, yeah, brains with the butt of the rifle. At least it seems like it was quick. Hmm. Oh. There we go. Now it's safe to walk over. Let's see. Don't tell me this place is going to be a hedge maze of some sort. It totally is. Hello? Hmm. Who have we here? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Hubert Man. You don't want to come to my neck neck of the woods, cause you know, it's broken and whatnot. At least he still has a sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, Pika, poor girl. Okay, Fuchsia flower? Fuchsia? I, I, I never I never know how to say that, or, nor do I really care too much. I think you're saying it right. Okay, that sounds familiar. Hmm. Okay, nothing there. Hmm, male bust. It's kind of funny, right? Really? <laughs> Locked, so there's going to be another way in there. Hmm. Hey, pardon? Uh, the music? As long as the amulet stays, well, not red, we should be safe. 
big emphasis on should. Let's see. Uh, Notes. Re a wind reaper with a float. Darby. The image of that girl yet haunts me. I feel the need to find some solace from my acts. I have been looking for any of the Quanto that may have survived the massacre. I have found some survivors, but Wortham does not know of them. He can never find out they exist. I am unsure as what he would do if he found out about them. They are but a loose group, yet they remain. I prostrated myself to them, inviting their punishment for my misdeeds. But they would have none of it. They have instead allowed me to seek and to learn about them. The little girl I killed, her name was Skyflower. Why, I do not know, but having a name to place to her brings me some measure of comfort. When I see her in my dreams, I can call her out by name. Yeah, the fact that he is haunted by his acts shows that he is a better man than Wortham would ever hope to be, despite all of his claims of being a good, godly man. This Another one of these, the garden key. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this this may be a bit ranty of me, but I personally think that the current way of how many churches handle sins and like having them be basically bought off is completely wrong because many people just act like they could just do the most horrific things and as long as they are quote unquote sorry that they will be forgiven for it so they will just do it all over again you know, sin is something that you should acknowledge and carry with you and learn to do better not be f forgiven mm -mm. let's see an animal could probably clear these thorns but i don't think i can okay Yeah, basically, the short of what I'm saying is that the, how many uh, how many churches handle uh, sins is the forgiving of sins is makes it, uh, yeah, seem more like bribery or such, like buying off your sins instead of actually learning of uh, from them, yeah, and bettering yourself. Be, wouldn't we actually be sorry? This is poor. You're supposed to actually be sorry, but some are, as you say, they are. Go there, go to both, pay off, walk out. I think it's fine. It, it's not. It's not. And yeah. Basically, they're missing the point. Okay, what are we going to find here? But yeah. She looks like a goddess of some kind. Hmm. But yeah, I do believe one can be forgiven, but yeah, the, the, even that has limits. Oh. These statues are playing for one another. No need. Yeah, forgiveness should come from those wronged, not from a third party. Yes, it's e much easier for a third party to say that they are forgiven because they have no stake in the matter. Mm. Purple flower? <laughs> Just make it fly. Wait, wait, wait. A good idea. Let's move it towards Pika. <laughs> and then uh, poop her nose with it. Let's see if he sneezes. Let's see. I wonder how this statue... There we go. Move it somewhere. Okay, so we need to be close to it. Okay. Uh, let's see. When all the others are still standing. Okay. There. Ooh, I've been looking for you. One more flower to go. You just called purple flower, all right? Yep. Uh, oh, wait. Fru Frusha might not be the flower's name. It might actually be the name of a specific color. Yeah, of purple. Of which I honestly do not care much how the specific names of uh, shades are called. <laughs> Because I, I'm pretty sure you've probably seen the joke, like you see, you have a an entire row of red buttons and all of them are called different names, like Crimson, uh, there's ba basically shades that are so little difference that there is no, no practical difference. And hello, Sensei. Hello, Sensei. Um, actually, I... ain't you Code Frosia? 
uh, Fuchsia. Uh, no, the, the, the outer layer is blue, the inner layer is just purple. I think Fuchsia is a much lighter version. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, you could just put... Uh, 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 blue. Shirts. I was a blur, <laughs> blur pearl. I don't even know what blurple is supposed to be. Probably somewhere between blue and purple, but I, I'm not even sure uh, if those are the, adjacent. The, the, that's what exactly it is. Blurple is between purple and blue. <laughs> okay, I've never been good at color theory, nor color practice. Yeah, no, it, it has a slightly better name in Swedish. Blue lila. It, it literally means blue purple. <laughs> I thought so. Let's see, worth them. What has your worthless wor uh, lips to say? Or hands, since this is written. We dug great pits to dump the corpses of savages. Uncivilized folk don't deserve civilized graves, after all. For that traitorous shaman, however, I reserved a special grave. I've allowed his body to rot in the sun while we dug our well. We had him buried deep uh, down where not even the worms would reach. We lost only three men in the assault, which any lieutenant in war would consider acceptable. One of the draft horses fell through the earth as, he, as she pulled a load behind her. We investigated and found she had fallen into a pit that led to a series of underground caves. I have decided that we shall entomb the dead there, and it will be used as a mausoleum for my estate. For my dearest Martha, I had a great coffin built at the entrance of the catacombs so that I may easily come and visit her whenever I choose. The walls of the caves contain veins of possibly precious metals, and we will also use it as a foundation for our mining. It will expand in time. This is the beginning of my good fortune. Ugh. If he only knew how much her, his wife is saddened by all this probably. We need something to cut those. We don't know much too much about Martha, actually, I just realized. Yeah. But if she died in this area, then it is likely that her spirit is hanging around somewhere. Could it be that she is the evil presence that's so enraged by her husband's acts? Let's see. Darby? Despite all my troubles, I have managed to find myself a woman. Claire is her name, and I reckon she has to be the prettiest lass in town. Like me, she hails from Ireland, and when we met, we knew it was love. We married just last Tuesday, and neither of us could be happier together. She knows of my past, and she helped me through my terrors in the night. She holds me and tells me everything will be, uh, will be right again. I do not know what I would do without her. She is my reason for living anymore. Okay, and one more note from him left. Hmm. Uh, Let's see, we need one more flower, but we need a cutting tool to proceed. So is there something I missed, or do we need to just go somewhere else completely to get the tool? Like, from the tool shed? Yeah, we were there, but I didn't see, or we couldn't interact with anything that could act like that. Maybe we can now. Would be a bit of a, a jackass move to have that only be available after we've already explored this place. Or maybe it was available earlier and I just didn't see it. Possibly, but also it's a tool shed. Hmm. So it would make sense for a cutting tool to be there. Or does you need that? No, that's not a cutting tool, it's a pitchfork. Yep. Hello. Uh, okay, we, we haven't wait. been this way. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, back up a little bit. Uh, hello. You for the dog. Woof, woof. Oop. What happened with the dog? Um, uh, follow. Yeah, we, there was the thorn bush that a, an animal could work through. And, uh... I guess we found our animal? Uh... Oh, of the animal? Okay, all the way over there. What happened to the poor dog? 
Good question, but I think we can question that of basically everyone we've met so far. Like, most of their bodies have been absolutely mangled. Hmm. Wolf Arp. Okay. Dog is our cutting tool. I for this bush, but I think we'll probably find something better over here. Hmm. Who's here? Yep. Hello. Marty Sims. Why a Marty Sims? I see you found my dog Buford. And, oh, the, the ground is disturbed here, or piled here. That's his grave, probably. Yep. Magenta oh. flower. Okay, that seemed to do a bit more than just get us the flower. Let's just move quickly, because the wind is picking up. Not here. Now we just need to find the axe again, because we found all three flowers. Okay. Oh, now yes, the gardens themselves them. are angry with us. I don't think we just spoke about this, but I was thinking of mentioning maybe tree raves? Mm -hmm. Or destructive or something, but apparently he was not wrong when I was thinking about that. Yeah, it's hedge wraiths. Yeah. Okay, let's try and find the exit quickly. <laughs> yeah. Cuckoo's! Where's the blasted exit? Hey. I'm expecting at least one more attack. Yep. Okay, I would have... <laughs> I was, was expecting an effective attack. <laughs> flower power escaped the gate, and that's a fire flower. <laughs> Where'd the key now? Let's bring it to the white man. I just know it'll cheer him up. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Okay, let's get out of here and see if we can leave Darby's uh, tortured soul. This way. Hmm. I would not be surprised in the slightest if the evil spirit we we encountered earlier is worth him himself. And all of his hate come to life. Alas, I thank you kindly for the gifts. I can't even tell you how sorry I am for what happens. I don't deserve your kindness, your forgiveness. Thanks, Elena. Bye-bye for now. And she moves on. What, what do you mean by that? We killed them, Elena. We killed them all. Not the worst one of us. I bashed that little girl's skull with the butt of my rifle. Wortham gave me the order, but that doesn't excuse what I did. I'm done fighting for him. My soul's damned to a fiery hell, but I've made peace with that. Go on, Elena. Find your father. Be sure to hold him tight when you do. And he moves on as well. The heaven, hell, somewhere between... Maybe. <laughs> I wish he was alive. Oh, nice way of undercutting that one game. Oh, <laughs> bloody heck, that was a bad achievement. 
Bye bye, Darby. I hope you find your solace. Darby departs. First flying hawk leaves me and leaves me and now Skyflower and Mr. Halloran. Or ho ho And just when I was beginning to like him too. He turned out to be a nice man and a good person in the end, despite some of the things he'd done in life. I'm happy for him, and for Skyflower. They've been kept from the afterlife for far too long. It was high time they both got to go home. Hmm. Chapter 3. Wortham's Woman. We might actually be able to finish this game <laughs> at this rate. But we're in the stream in five seconds. I'd love to take a seat, but I have to find out. And I looked at the clock, so that's a line. <laughs> Fleur? Worth and Willows won the first election for mayor last week. This place is going to become a prosperous town under his direction, it is said. I have heard that he comes from New England, where the clouds are black from industry. They say he knows what a proper town is. Oh, I just can't wait to see what becomes of my home. The future is rich with possibilities. I have met men who came hundreds of miles to see me dance. It is flattering beyond all notion. But that, you know, that is not the best of my news. The new mayor came to watch me dance this evening. I felt his eyes as he watched me, and it quickened my heart. He even sent me flowers after the show. The world is a dream. I just hope to not wake up. A lot of clouds of industry that... In the, that age, they prove food was a good thing. Now yeah. we know it's a horrible thing. And I'm, I'm going to take a guess that the reason he was elected mayor was because he was basically the employer of everyone. So it was basically vote for him or lose your job. Uh, uh, <laughs> Darby's uh, last notes. I do not know how much longer I can take this torment. The efforts of my dear Claire are no longer help to soothe me when I am in the grips of my terrors. I have found myself awakened while sleepwalking, and I seem to head to the same place every night. I head to where it all happened, when my torments began. Such is my fate. I shall burn in hell's fire. I know it to be true. I have sought the help of holy men, and even their blessings cannot cure me of my affliction. I think at times it would be better for me to find the blackness I long for. Death whispers to me in my sleep, and I want to follow it. Yeah, for for the truly for the truly repentant words and quote unquote blessings are as hollow as can be, because well, it is yeah, it's a third party trying to tell you that you did no wrong when you know you did wrong. Like, there, there is a place in the world for priests and such, but to help guide, not to, uh, yeah, sell quackery, to put it simply. And who? You are Fleur, are you not, I'm guessing? Yep. Oh no, I have lost it. This is as though a part of me is missing. Please, little girl, help me find it. Help, uh, help me and my uh, lost love letter. Wortham's word always works so well to soothe me. You seem... Yeah, she's, she is bloodied, as you can see on the, sol the shoulder, but I think the rest of that front is either supposed to... Uh, no, that, that's probably also blood. How did you die, then? By the madman's hands, yet again? Night Lady. I met this lady who won't stop crying. Her name is Fleur. I think she might be French, but I'm not sure. Her, her accent is hard for me to figure out. She keeps telling me she lost some love letter. She's very upset about it. I think she's being a little over dramatic, to be honest, but I guess it'll help her. I really don't get why girls go so crazy over love letters. This <laughs> seems a little silly to me. <laughs> okay, why would we want to move this? How far can we move it? Oh great! Hey. Now, now a captain has gotten themselves a pet. Uh, what is it that called in English? It's a dresser. Drawn? A dresser, right? Helian has gotten himself a pet dresser.
Ski ladder. Who's here? Oh, what the? Okay. Ooh, what the? Uh, chef killed with his own knives. Hmm. I guess some would call that ironic. Chef Smir uh, Smiraldo found a knife with blood all over it one day. Don't know where it came from. Figured it was from the kitchen, so I left it there. Okay. Um. This is not what the kitchen is supposed to smell like. Oh, ah, there's the knife. Oh, those, those are my delight. They have a small um, st um, full iron stove uh, in my old village, which actually got used a few times during Christmas times and after a storm to put out our out power for over a week. So we actually had a way to cook food. Okay, where is this thing supposed to go? Are we supposed to collect it? Because I'd rather not want to move this thing towards Elena. Yet you are doing that. What are you doing? Put it I'm down. pretty sure she's not going to stab herself with it. Okay, where does this thing need to go? Show her, you lunatic. Okay, I can just leave it. Okay, before it would say where to drop it off. Let's see, this knife has been used on something or someone. Uh. Locked. Hmm. Anything more to say? Hmm. Yeah, it's probably a murder weapon, and I think we can guess who the victim is. Is it him or her? Now, if he was alive when he found it, it must have been someone else. Oh. And, oh okay, this loops back. Your cat. Let's see, wonder who this could be. Okay, so some of these we can open from the other side. Nope, the wine cellar. Oh, oh wait, I totally didn't see that there was a note there. Flora's last note. I do what I can to keep my relationship with Wortham interesting, but I worry that he is no lo that he no longer holds any interest in me. He's much old. He's much colder and distant, where he used to be warm and loving. And while he still visits me most almost nightly, I feel a change has overcome him. I do not know what is to, uh, but it could be that has caused such a change in the man I love so much. I can see lurking behind his eyes an intense anger, and I do not know where it comes from, nor how it went uh, so unnoticed for so, <clears throat> for so long. When he looks at me with those eyes, I become scared and unable to speak much or even move. I fear what hides behind his irises. I hope he does not turn on me someday. Now, seeing as that's her last note, I think we know what happens. Look at all that wine. <laughs> it's your love it here. And that's all down here. Okay. Hmm. So much wine. Yeah, I get the feeling that Wortham was an evil, angry man from the very start. That he just managed to hide it behind being quote unquote civilized. Wait, actually, now that we have a knife, we could cut those vines. But let's backtrack first and see if there's any paths that we didn't go down here. He did mourn his own wife, and the things seem to have went downhill from there. Mm. Like. He might have some darkness in him, but that darkness just exploded after that. Yeah. Uh, let's see, we've seen here... <clears throat> I don't think there's any more for us upstairs. So... Yeah, let's go see and let's see if we can get into the conservatory now that we have something to cut. Hmm. These, I doubt these two are going to be of any use to us. 
Okay. Observatory, we've been here. I don't think we'll find much else here. Maybe another time. Hmm. That's the soldier. There we go. Happy. Wonderful. Potted mm -hmm. plants. I bet people like my dad have been hired to water these. Hmm. And that one stands out. Yep, thought so. A little key. I wonder who did it in his vase. Okay. Hmm. Thought so. Oh, there, there's someone here, and technically they still are in two ways. You, you, you got cleaved. <laughs> Alan Wood. I was left with quite a chip in my shoulder when my parents died, requiring me to halt for my scholarly pursuits and run the family flower shop. It was only when my son grew weary of England and wished to seek his fortune that I left that dreadful career. And yet here I am, back at it again. It feels like an eternity. Hmm. No. How did all of these people die so violently? Hello? Can almost smell the leftover perfume. Okay, that must be the love letter. Let's see. My dearest Fleur, uh, these past weeks we've spent together have been but a blurry dream come true. When I'm with you, time flies so that the day seems to blend happily into one another. You make my heart feel so full there is naught to do but weep and thank God for your presence on this earth. But I fear folk will talk behind our backs and my reputation will be besmirched. I must protect my good name. It is my livelihood. I'd like to propose you live with me, my love. It must be in secret, but it is the only way I can see for us to be together, and we must be together. We, we, yeah, we will communicate via secret messages, but that's something to discuss when next we meet. Until then, you are forever in my heart, love, Wortham. So he did not want to have her as his wife, just merely as his mistress. Let's see, number nine... I've taken an interest in a young dancer named Fleur from the saloon I own in town. She is likewise interested in me, and I've begun my courtship of her, in secret of course. As the town's mayor, I can't be seen with such a woman, so I must keep her from prying eyes. I will hide her away here in the observatory, so that only the servants know of her presence. She reminds me of Martha at times, the way she makes me feel. But I affirm it to be nothing uh, beyond mere whimsy. I cannot afford such scandal. I will do what I have to in order to ensure my secret does not get out. So basically, she was his prisoner, if not at worst, slave. And yeah, this, this, this was her room, I'm guessing. Not even a bed. I hope by the end of this game that the name Worth and Elos becomes worthless, less than worthless, spat upon with every utterance. What the heck? And also, I think she was allowed to leave there to work. Just, they spent uh, her nights there. And even but, then, he could have at yeah. least given her a bed or anything of comfort. Yeah, just, why, why no bed, really? Yeah, because he saw her as nothing, yeah, as below him. Savage, almost, I, I'd hazard a guess. Ugh. Yeah, I can think, think people can see we are not liking Worfen Willows. Okay, here you are. Oh, thank you so much, Elena. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take this ring as a token of my appreciation. Wortham and I used it to hide secret messages that could only be seen with it. But I don't need it anymore. 
You have helped me more than you know, Elena. Goodbye, sweet child. I hope you managed to find your father. Hello. And she moves on. Probably better that she thought he loved him than, well, <laughs> ready corset ghosts. Really? Yeah. Oh, she's gone already. I was just getting to know her. Goodbye, Fleur. You were so lovely. Uh, wait, what was the achievement? Yeah, ready corset ghosts. Uh, ready, set, on. go. Really? Go to wine cellar. Okay. So there is more in the wine cellar than just a note. Uh, what? There's probably more of these secret messages that we can find now. Let's see. Be worried. Very much. Let's see. None here. Let's see. Three, one, two, three. Three, one, two, three. Okay. Hmm. Noting that down just in case, because we've never we've haven't seen anything of a combination lock or anything. Even though she's a drama queen, I'm glad I helped Flora find her love letter. Who'd have known she and Wortham were lovers in secrets? I don't think I've seen anyone so happy over something so simple. I hate to admit it, but it's a little bit touching. She was so overjoyed. Wortham seems like a bad guy, but if he made her so happy at one time, can he really be that bad? It's hard for me to believe anyone is pure evil. I don't know. It just makes me wonder. Oh, oh hello. There, there we go. Uh, uh, oh. Let's see. These might one. be what the number is about. And, no, one wrong way around. Or not? What? Uh, three, one, uh, two, three. Hmm. Or do I need to move certain bottles? What? Three, one. Two, three. What? Uh, why? Why did it move? Did like you hear the sound? I think you just unlocked something. I heard the sound. Hmm. Okay. Why did it work? Okay. Why not? Why not? Oh, Ew. Okay, it's contained. Uh, I think they're trying to cheer us up with these achievements, just... Um... Yeah. Let's see. It has been some time since I moved my belongings to the Willow's Mansion to be closer to Wortham. We must love each other behind closed doors, as he cannot afford a scandal as the town's mayor. He even made a special room for us to be together. He's such a kind, smart man. He invented a way for us to leave each other messages no one else can read. We make use of invisible ink, and he gave me a ring with a symbol on it. We carved the symbol into the wall to signify a message is there. The servants have yet to catch on to our system. I must admit how exciting it, uh, it all is, how much fun I have had these past months. If he truly loved you, Fleur, he would have he would have been with you e openly instead of hiding you like a dirty secret. And hello again, Pyro. Still here? <laughs> okay, let's just hope that thing doesn't break out. I do wonder who who caught those things or did they get themselves stuck? Hold on, hold on, go back. That's a... 
And that's broken through. Oh, no, 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 oh that's true. I just meant the. Uh, do you see the key that's rather human shaped? Yeah. And we just blocked that thing from getting out again. It managed to slip back into its hole, but not back out again. Oh, nope. Worth them. Or worthless willows. There is something amiss with Darby. He has become start raving mad. He was a coward before, which I could only vaguely stomach, but this is over much. He came to me in my office rambling incoherently. He sat himself down with his hands on his head and he told me he was cursed, that he was haunted by the little girl he killed. I care not for the ravings of a madman, nor his company I am trying to become nor his company. I am trying to become the mayor of this town. No one will elect a man who keeps the company of a lunatic. Something must be done about Darby, and soon. Yeah. Wortham never gave a damn about anyone. Like his even he did not care about his so-called friends. The man is truly worthless. Okay, where do we end up now? The secret room? What evil lurks? I've been wondering about evil lately. Where does it come from? What does it look like inside a person? I believe now I've seen it firsthand. I saw flickering shadows moving about in cages, and I thought I was going crazy at first. But no, what I saw was real. I know it in my bones. I could feel the darkness that shone from these creatures, like some inverse sun. Like a black hole. These things make me feel worthless, hopeless, and sad. They think they come from inside us. I think we all have these demons. I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to find my dad. And the question now is who spawned all of these creatures? There's an unbroken mirror. Is there an unbroken mirror in this whole place? Somebody sure has a, bad, a bunch of bad luck. Another one from the worthless one. The revolution of this country's uh, the revolution of this country's great industries has made for leaps in our technology and understanding of the world at large. That dotard of a shaman told me all those years ago that this place is spiritually potent. I shall find a means of bending that to my will. With the use of science and with God at my side, I will once again see my Martha. I have brought uh, preachers and monks and other holy men to cleanse my spirit, but no pursuit nor any amount of money does a bit of good. Good. Like your soul is worthless, so none of it will make you know, uh, add any value to it. But I have heard the whisperings in shadowed places of ancient esoteric means to attain what I seek. My hands are already stained with blood, my soul tainted with rot. I shall delve into the occult, tear through existence and see what lies beyond. I have already read some of the books and gotten a taste of what uh, is to come, but I need more. I will not stop until I have that I, you know, I have that uh, what I desire. Esoter oh no. Okay, fucker is going Cthulhu on this as well now. Yeah, like for a man of God, he's demons. sure uh, easy on jumping to that straight away. What a cool old sewing machine. Such a rainbow myriad of spools, so pretty. And a bunch of bird cages. And a note from John. Spending time here has grown me more sensitive to the spiritual world, and not just on the mansion's grounds either. I can feel the pull of the spiritual world as it calls to me in my sleep. I catch, wis catch wisps of my wife's dreams as they encroach upon my own. I awaken each morning feeling as though my spirit has traversed the universe. I can see the light that glows within the core of each person I meet. I love looking at Elena that way. She shines like a small sun. I'll have to teach her the ways of our people someday when she's old enough. I've already shown her the basics. She meditates with me daily, but she doesn't know what it means yet. So many bird cages. This room must have been the absolute worst to clean up back in the day. Oh. <laughs> uh. hmm. Let's see, I should probably try and keep an eye out for any other the secret messages, but I get the feeling there probably aren't too many. Hmm. No, and we're about ready with time. 
Let's see. Nope, dollhouse. Nope, nothing creepy about this place. Nothing at all. Oh, great. Uh, oh, the hat. I thought yep. the last one that had an axe to her head. Marcy DeVeet. Young Master Marcus must eat. Yes, he must. I must find him so that he may be fed. Growing boys need their nourishment after all. Wasn't Marcus the son who is already an adult? Hmm. Okay, I guess we have our next puzzle. Or next quest, mate. Or... I have no idea what that might be. But for now... Um... Now let's head up and go through a door so we can make a save. And then we'll call it there for Whispering Willows for today. Hmm. Oh, bloody hate. Okay. And is it showcase tomorrow or a stream, to, a regular stream tomorrow? Hmm. I kind of want to go back to, to doing showcases every week. But I'll double check. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. I I get the feeling I get the feeling we probably will finish this game next time. But I yeah. This the story is interesting, like horrific in what happened before, but still interesting as to how the hell all of these people died because it's more than obvious that. Well, practically all of them were murdered in some way or another, but by yeah, whom? Uh, I'm guessing Wortham may have been the, the death of all of them, but that would have made him a very, very prolific serial killer. Oh, <clears> God, <throat> yeah. Not the hit. For now... Yeah, I like the story, even, and yeah, it's quite dark. Yeah. And you do really feel motivation to read a dislike, uh... Uh, yeah, Mr. Willows. Yeah. Okay. Change windows, Twitch, and we go look for someone to raid again. I was honestly expecting that uh, Elena was a Willows, but no, this is all about uh, the story of, well, one vicious, vile man. Yeah, and I just want to... Is it correct for me to say feel motivation to dislike Mr. Willows? I... Yeah, I'd love to hate. Uh, I guess. I, I do, I just don't like him. Yeah, full agreement. Now, let's have a look at who are online. We have Reef to Leaf with Breath of Fire 3. Ichinui is playing Minecraft 12 hour belated birthday stream. Okay, are, are they playing it basic or are they playing modded? And of course, we get the freaking ads. Uh, and this is not the car ad. Yeah, they've been going for four hours. Let's see. Frogcast is playing Halo, the Master Chief collection. Corridust. Even more freaking ads. Corridust. Again, this stupid ads. Corridust is Just, playing I used it, didn't guilt. I? Okay, this looks like a sort of dead by... I, I can still see the gameplay in the upper right corner. It looks like some sort of dead by daylight like thing or such. Uh, maybe multiplayer might be single player. I think it's single player since uh, an opponent single player probably would have been smarter than that. Might have. Big might have. <laughs> there are a lot of dumb people in online games. Um, we have Smoops Other Nonsense with MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries and WBPL who is streaming MechWarrior Online. Then we have two who are playing Lords of the Fallen, Touch Scaly Tale and Halloween 4545. <laughs> Been a while since I've named it, said the numbers, but oh well. Okay. Any of those, or shall we look for someone new to raid? Because I see someone who is playing Rayman Origins. Let me get take a peek. Let's see. TNS Teeny. I was half expecting them to have a, a Teensy avatar <laughs> since, well, Rayman. Oh, I'm and... not sure what they're supposed to look like. They look like a mix of several characters. <laughs> and I accidentally skipped over someone. Lashris is playing Final Fantasy XIV online. 
So who would you say? Mm. I'm leaning Lashris since they came. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll pick Lashris then since they came to visit us. May as well return the favor. Yeah, it seems fair. <clears throat> So slash rate and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pyro Sooth. Thank you, Sensei Tadpole, Pika Girl. And as always, thank you, Dakir. You bullet was always my friend. And thank you all for joining. And yeah, let's see. Tomorrow. Uh yeah, shall we just shall we just go back to the weekly showcase? Uh I'll be okay with it. It, okay. so we did it the only thing for a, as a little break. Yeah. And well, some of the games that I have installed for it are pretty hefty on the on on my hard drive. So I would also like to, to get rid of them. Oh dear. Okay. But yeah. Back to weekly showcase Sundays then, starting tomorrow. And we'll continue with either Deadbolt or Whispering Willows tomorrow. Uh, shall we just see which we'll do then? Yeah, Actually, let's, let's continue with let's continue with Whispering Willows. Sure. <laughs> okay. So for now, as Pika gets <laughs> insulted by Sensai uh, because she's a brat, let's start that raid. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs>